In this case, um, supposedly uh, these messages are hidden in electronic phenomena. There's a reversespeech.com webpage in which I downloaded this stuff. Here is the forward, this is the most famous one of all of these. Here's the forward version of the very famous song. Can you just listen to that all day? <laughs> all right, here it is backwards, and see if you can hear the hidden messages that are supposedly in there. What'd you get? Satan. Satan. Okay, well, at least we got Satan. Now I will prime your auditory part of your brain to tell you what you're supposed to hear and then hear it again. <laughs> I can't miss it when I tell you what's there. Um, we have a tendency to see faces. This is the face on Mars, which was uh, in 1976, so there was a whole movement to get NASA to photograph uh, that area because people thought this was monumental architecture made by Martians. Well, it turns out here's the close-up of it from 2001. If you squint, you can still see the face. And when you're squinting, what you're doing is you're turning that from fine grain to coarse grain. And so you're reducing the quality of your data. And if I didn't tell you what to look for, you'd still see the face because we're programmed by evolution to see faces. Faces are important for us socially. And of course, happy faces, faces of all kinds are easy to see. <laughs> you can see the happy face on Mars there. If astronomers were frogs, perhaps they'd see Kermit the Frog. Do you see him there? <laughs> Little froggy legs. Or if geologists were elephants, uh, religious, I uh, religious iconography <laughs> discovered by a Tennessee baker in 1996. He charged five bucks a head to come see the nun bun until he got a, a cease and desist from Mother Teresa's lawyer. <laughs> Here's Our Lady of Guadalupe and Our Lady of Watsonville, just down the street or is it up the street from here. Uh, tree bark is particularly good because it's nice and grainy, branchy, uh, black and white, splotchy, and you can get the pattern-seeking, humans are pattern-seeking animals. Here's the Virgin Mary on the side of a glass window in Sao Paulo. Uh, here's the Virgin Mary made her appearance on a cheese sandwich, which I got to actually hold in a, a Las Vegas casino, of course, this being America. <laughs> This casino paid $28,500 on eBay for the, for the uh, cheese sandwich. But who does it really look like? The Virgin Mary? It has that sort of puckered lips, uh, 1940s era look. Virgin Mary in Clearwater, Florida. I actually went to see this one. Um, there was a lot of pe people there of the faithful come to be in their um, wheelchairs and crutches and so on. And, uh, we went down and investigated this to give you a size that's Dawkins, me, and the amazing Randy next to this two, two and a half story size image. All these candles, so many thousands of candles people had lit in tribute to this. So we walked around the backside just to see what was going on here. Where, it turns out wherever there's a sprinkler head and a palm tree, you get the effect. Here's the Virgin Mary on the backside, which they started to wipe off. I guess you can only have one miracle per building. <laughs> So is it really a miracle of Mary, or is it a miracle of Marge? <laughs> <laughs>